Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the top five most overpowered class setups after the recent update here in season four. These setups are perfect if you guys are trying to improve your KD ratio and drop your first V2 rocket. So with all being said, the like goal on this video has to be 400 likes. If you guys do do the content on the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So for the first class setup, we're taking a look at the KGM-40, which is a dangerously, and I mean a dangerously underrated assault rifle here in season four. It has a crazy fast time to kill. You guys will find yourself dropping a lot of V2 rockets with this setup. So for the first attachment, we're gonna go ahead and put on the recoil booster. So we can bump up that fire rate, giving us a faster time to kill. Out of all the muzzle attachments, I like this one the best. Now, if you guys wanna have a more stealthy approach, the MX silencer is going to be a great option as well. Now, for the underbarrel, we are gonna put on the M1941 handstop so we can have recoil control as well as accuracy. On the KGM-40, you want to be accurate so you can utilize this weapon's fast fire rate and obviously taking advantage of its fast time to kill. And the M1941 handstop is gonna be a great attachment on this assault rifle to get the job done, especially at medium to longer ranges. Now for the barrel, we are gonna put on the Reisdorf 720 millimeter shrouded barrel. So we have recoil control and accuracy, blunt resistance, reduced scopes weighing gun bob, and bullet velocity. Just a great attachment, increasing this weapon's long range capabilities and allowing us to take out literally anybody we see on the map without a problem. Make sure you guys go ahead and throw this barrel on it. It's the absolute best barrel to run on the KGM-40. Now for the magazine, we are gonna run the damage mags on this weapon. We're running the 30 ox 6 50 round drums so we can take advantage of that bullet velocity as well as that damage. Just a great attachment on this assault rifle, giving us a fast time to kill and allowing us to mop up every single play on the map a lot easier. Make sure you guys go ahead and throw this under class setup. Now for the ammo type, like usual, we are gonna run Linton. Linton is gonna be a great attachment on the KGM-40 and 99% of all weapons here in Vanguard. So make sure you guys run Linton as your ammo type. Now for the optic, because this is a precision assault rifle used at longer ranges, you can use it at close range. We are gonna put on the slate reflector just so we can go ahead and run it at any and all ranges and obviously go ahead and take the advantage of having a clean optic picture. I personally don't like the iron sights. Slate reflector is gonna be a great option for this weapon. So go ahead and put it on. Now for the rear grip, we are gonna put on the fabric grip so we can take advantage of close range engagements, giving us increased aim down sight speed, to fire speed hit by recoil recovery just a great attachment on the kgm 40 and i run this on every single weapon in vanguard under the rear grip category now for the stock we are going to go ahead and put on the rise 360 sk barrel just a great attachment on this weapon allowing us to have increased aim walking movement speed aim walking steadiness sprint to fire speed and movement speed Definitely a great attachment on this weapon, allowing us to literally walk around, aim down sights, making sure that we're ready to win each and every gunfight here in Season 4. Make sure you guys have this attachment on for the KG. It just works wonders. Now, for the first proficiency, we are going to put on sleight of hand. The KGM-40 does have a slower than normal reload, so we want to go ahead and bump that up so we can stay locked and loaded, ready to win each and every gunfight we get into. So, sleight of hand is going to be a great attachment for this assault rifle. And then finally, for our kit, we are going to go ahead and run fully loaded so we can rock this weapon from kill 1 all with the kill 25 so we get that V2 rocket. This is a very and i mean a very underrated assault rifle here in vanguard literally nobody is running the kgm 40 for whatever reason and it is a monster at any and all ranges definitely go ahead and give this class setup a try now for secondary i have on the combat knife ghost forward intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot now for class setup number two we're we'll taking a look at a point and shoot laser beam the automaton got you covered if you need something that is very good at any and all ranges and if you are in dire need of a v2 rocket this class setup's got you covered now for the first attack we're going to go ahead and put on the mx silencer for this specific loadout we're going to be using a stealthy yet long range approach with the automaton for those of you who are trying to go ahead and drastically increase your KD ratio and get that first V2 rocket, MX silencer, allowing us to have sound suppression and accuracy, we can get behind the enemy spawn, build up a quick and easy streak, 
and get that v2 rocket secured now for the underbarrel we are going to put on the m1941 hand stop just like the kgm40 want to go ahead and have recoil control and accuracy so we can rock this weapon at longer ranges without having to think or worry about a thing literally point shoot move on to the next target now for the barrel to kind of help that out even more we are going to run the anastasia sniper barrel so we have bullet velocity and range as well as accuracy this coupled with the m1941 hand stop is money this weapon doesn't have recoil it doesn't move and it's incredibly easy to use now for the magazine we are going to run the damage rounds on this weapon it is still bugged it's a 60 round magazine even though it says 50 so we're going to reap rewards of having more ammo capacity and a higher caliber round so we're going to be getting ridiculously fast time to kills with plenty of bullets to get the job done make sure you guys go ahead and throw this for your magazine attachment it's going to work wonders on this weapon now for the ammo type because lengthen does not benefit the automaton nearly as much as the other assault rifles we are going to rock fmj for that increased bullet penetration so we can literally punch through walls and take people out in hard to reach areas we all know here in Vanguard, people like the head glitch behind things that's not going to be a problem for the automaton shoot them right through the wall get that quick and easy kill and move on to the next target it works flawlessly now for the optic we are going to put on the slate reflector this is a precision rifle this is going to be the absolute best and i mean the best optic to run on the automaton if you guys are looking for a very easy to use assault rifle at all ranges now for the rear grip we are going to run the fabric grip again like usual so we can have that increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed hit by recoil recovery it works on all weapons here in vanguard and the automaton is not an exception now for the stock we have on the zach skeletal so we can literally walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight it is amazing on this ar and one of the nastiest attachments you can put on the automaton and personally the best stock attachment under this category now for efficiency we are going to run frenzy whenever you can run frenzy on a class setup that allows it you want to run it so we can get health regeneration after each kill so we can continuously transition from gunfight to gunfight to gunfight very good if you guys are aggressive players and even if you are passive players it's gonna make sure you're at 100 percent health a majority of the time so frenzy is gonna be a great attachment on the auto baton now to wrap up this entire class that we are gonna run fully loaded so we can rock this weapon from kill one all the way to kill 25 we get that v2 rocket this is going to be probably the easiest class to use in the entire game if you are in dire need of that v2 rocket so make sure you guys run this I mean, the setup is going to be the fighting knife ghost forward intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot now for class number three we're going to rock with the marco 5 which is very good this is a brand new dlc weapon here in season four and i'm super happy very happy this is going to be a part of the meta it is a fast killing smg that a lot of people including myself are having a lot of fun using now for the first attachment under the muzzle category we are going to put on the recoil booster to bump up that fire rate giving us a faster time to kill i like to run a lot of recoil boosted smgs here in vanguard and the marco 5 is not going to be an exception now you can run the m1929 silencer if you guys want to and have a more stealthy approach but honestly i think the benefits of the recoil booster on this smg are going to outweigh the stealthiness you gain with the m1929 silencer now for the underbarrel we are going to put on the smle pistol grip for the marco 5 so we can go ahead and bump up that sprint to fire speed and hit fire accuracy this is an smg that's going to benefit from this attachment going ahead and increasing its close range lethality and it's going to be a great substitute when going ahead and running some of the heavier attachments this class setup is going to need so if you guys want to have a run and gun smg that's good at all ranges you're going to need the SMLE pistol grip. The nice thing about this is it's not going to impact our long range capabilities at all. Now for the barrel, we are going to run the second Imperto barrel, allowing us to have increased aim down sight speed, reduced scope swing gun bob, highly accurate controllable, as well as flinch resistance. We're going to need this attachment on the submachine gun, allowing us to use it at longer ranges very easily. And again, it's not going to impact our close range capabilities because we have a bunch of attachment on this class setup to speed this weapon up and make it feel more like an smg and kind of like an ar hybrid now for the magazine this weapon benefits greatly and i mean greatly from the kurtz rounds these are going to be the damage rounds for the marco 5 
going ahead and allowing us to have a faster time to kill so make sure you guys run this weapon with this attachment all the other magazines feel like duds on this weapon you're gonna have a lot of hit markers you're gonna feel like you're getting killed at longer ranges by weapons that you should not be dying to so if you guys want to have a solid smg at all ranges make sure you guys have on the eight millimeter kurtz rounds to go ahead and bump up that time to kill now for the ammo type because this is a submachine gun we have to run lengthen to go ahead and allow us to get a fast time to kill at those longer ranges definitely a mandatory ammo type for the optic you can go one or two ways with this weapon you guys can rock the slate reflector if you guys love running optics but honestly the marco 5 has some of the best if not the best iron sights in vanguard you don't need to run an optic on this weapon but honestly for the ease of use we're just going to go ahead and put on the slate reflector now obviously for the rear grip we are going to rock the fabric grip it's the last attachment for good reason allowing us to go ahead and bump up that closer lethality giving us increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed as well as hip fire recoil recovery you guys are gonna love this attachment it works flawlessly now for the stock we're actually going to go ahead and run the Imperto fr stock so we have a walking movement speed initial action and recoil recoil recovery and aim down sight speed just a great attachment to kind of tie everything together allowing this weapon to be useful at close range medium range as well as long ranges kind of having an ar smg hybrid feel now for the efficiency for this gun we are going to run frenzy luckily this is going to be an attachment that is viable on this weapon and we can actually use without actually you know impacting anything negatively health generation after kills just a great attachment for any smg as long as it stay fully uh healthed up you can go ahead and getting in and out of each and every gunfight and then finally for the kit on this gun believe it or not i know it's gonna be crazy we're not gonna run fully loaded because we need to run quick for that increased sprint speed because this is a more heavier class setup that quick is going to benefit us more often but it's not going to be a big deal because we are running the combat knife with the ghost forward until scavenger combination sticky bomb and the stem shot so we're always going to have ammo and able to go ahead and get those v2 rockets now for class setup number four we are going to take a look at the well gun now i honestly have not been seeing a lot of well gun users recently i think more people are starting to lean toward the marco 5 over the well gun now because they operate similar but the well gun is still not going to be an smg that you don't want to just completely remove from your setups it's nasty it gets the job done and it is another smg ar hybrid within the season 4 meta now for this weapon for the muzzle we are going to put on the m1929 silencer you can run the recoil booster on this weapon but the Marco 5 is going to be the loud and proud AR SMG hybrid. And the well gun is now going to be the more stealthy approach. So we're going to put on the M1929 silencer to fill that void. Now for the underbarrel, same like the Marco, we are going to put on the SMLE pistol grip so we can have increased rent of fire speed and hit fire accuracy. Definitely go ahead and put this on your class setup to bump up that close range lethality, allowing us to run and gun with this weapon. And also remember, we can still use it at longer ranges. Now for the barrel, we are gonna run the 320 millimeter SA shrouded barrel. This is a mandatory attachment on the well gun, allowing us to use it at longer ranges and outgun assault rifle and LMG players, giving us highly accurate controllable, reduced scopes when gun bob and flinch resistance is going to be amazing on this smg it's like the marco 5's barrel attachment but it's going to work pretty similar with the well gun now for the magazine we have to run the damage rounds on this weapon no if ands ors or buts about it to make it feel like an smg ar hybrid the 0.4548 rounds is going to be your man it's going to allow us to go ahead and bump up that time to kill giving us a really really satisfying smg to use at longer ranges now for the ammo type again because this is a submachine gun we are going to rock lengthen so we can take people out very easily at those longer ranges now for the optic no if ands ors or buts about it we are going to run the slate reflector some people like the iron sets in this gun i personally don't slate reflector is going to be an ease of use type attachment and for an ar smg hybrid precision rifle it's going to be working flawlessly and exactly what we need now for the rear grip again it's going to be the fabric grip the last attachment like the marco 5 for good reason because it's going to be the best attachment under this category allowing us to have increased aim down sight speed 
return to fire speed and hit by recoil recovery gonna be a great attachment for any ar smg hybrid type build now for the stock we are gonna run the sa43 folding so we have that increased hip fire accuracy aim walking movement speed aim down sight speed and this action recoil not only we're we gonna have benefits of allowing us to walk around aim down sight winning every gunfight we're gonna get an increase in recoil control as well which is gonna be amazing for this attachment so definitely go ahead and throw this on the well gun now proficiency luckily this weapon does have frenzy again whenever we can run frenzy on our setups we're gonna run it so we can have our health at 100 at all time stay health up and continuously transition from gunfight to gunfight to gunfight and win now finally for the kit we are gonna go ahead and one quick just like we would on the Marco 5, it's going to be another AR SMG hybrid in the meta that works out flawlessly. Those two guns are kind of interchangeable, depending on what you guys like to use. Well, gun of the Marco, they're both going to be amazing. Man, the setup is going to be the FS Fighting Knife, Ghost Ford Intel Scavenger, Sticky Bomb, as well as the Stem Shot. Now, for our fifth and final class setup, we have a little bit of a wild card here. We have the NZ41, which is filthy people don't run this weapon and it's only because they don't know how to create the class setup the nz41 is a monster of an ar that does not get enough love so for the muzzle we are going to go ahead and put on the mx silencer for sound suppression as well as accuracy we are having a stealthy approach with this ar allowing us to go ahead and use it at those longer ranges but still being able to get behind the enemy spawn and building up a quick and easy streak now for the underbarrel on this assault rifle we are going to rock the m1941 handstop so we have that recoil control as well as accuracy this is going to be a rifle that's going to be deadly accurate the first couple of bullets you're going to find yourself getting ridiculously fast time to kills because this weapon is deadly accurate and allowing us to take people out very easily at those longer ranges so make sure you guys go ahead and kind of buff the strength of this weapon by putting on the m1941 handstop now for the barrel we are gonna run the Oberweaver 360 millimeter BC barrel. So we are highly accurate and controllable as well as reduced scope spray and gun bob. The best barrel to run under this category, all the others are not gonna benefit this weapon. This is gonna be a precision, a long range assault rifle. So we wanna go ahead and build off of its strengths. Now for the magazine, the only attachment on this category that makes sense, it's just gonna be the fast mag. The other two are gonna reduce the damage and make this weapon feel awkward. So we're just gonna reap the reward of having a faster reload to stay locked and loaded and continuously pushing the enemy spawn. Now for the ammo type, we are gonna rock lengthen, business as usual, faster time to kill at longer ranges, exactly what we need with a precision assault rifle now for the optic you guys guessed we are going to go ahead and put on the slate reflector the iron sights on the nz actually are not bad but as an ease of use attachment the slate reflector is me what we want to have on so we're gonna go ahead and equip it now for the rear grip y'all know the drill man we're gonna rock the fabric grip so we have increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and hit by recoil recovery Run this on every single weapon you can here in Vanguard. It's just going to be the best under the rear grip category. Now for the stock, we are going to rock the lower reinforced. So we have initial accuracy and recoil, aim down sight speed, and recoil recovery. We're going to go ahead and build off the strength of this weapon being deadly accurate within the first couple of shots. So we can get that ridiculously, and I mean ridiculously, fast time to kill. Now for efficiency, there's actually quite a few options you guys can rock with. Frenzy is a great option because we can stay health up and continue to go ahead and push players getting in and out of each and every gunfight. Or you guys can rock pinned, which is going to be increased flinch dealt. If you guys have ever gotten shot by a player with pinned, you guys know how annoying it is, how it just completely throws off your aim assist. So if you guys like to have that on your weapon, you can run it. But if you guys are more mobile, Frenzy is going to be a great option. And then finally for the kit, we are going to rock fully loaded. So we can rock the assault rifle from kill one all the way to kill 25 to get that v2 rocket a very underrated and misunderstood ar here in vanguard that you might possibly get your first nuke with when the setup is in the combat knife 
ghost ward and tail scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shop these are going to be the top five most overpowered class setups after the recent update here in season four if there are two class ups you guys should definitely check out after watching this video it has to be this kgm 40 class setup which people are not running for whatever reason as well as the nz41 which is a misunderstood assault rifle if you guys didn't know the video and end up checking out any of these class setups and drop your most kills your highest kd ratio or maybe even your first v2 rocket which is definitely possible let me know down in the comment section of this video make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications for your boy ears and i'll catch you guys in the next video deuces